In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do pinch punch uh, and add it onto your clips. So, to start off with, what we're going to do is you want to go over to your project media and add in a, add in a clip that you want to put into your montage and add the effect onto. So, I'm going to add this clip. So, drag the clip on. Then, we're going to do is add some music. So I've already downloaded this music. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the mute where the mute where the first music uh, beat drop is, and mark it the letter by pressing the letter M. I'm then gonna go over to the clip, move it over a second, use my arrow keys to see when I get the kill. First time these red with red dots um, appear. Split the clip, delete the first part of the clip, drag it back to the line, extend it so that it'll be on the it'll be on the kill. So the first step is to add velocity. The way I add it is I add one one point here, right on the the uh, music marker. Go on to the go on to it. One, two, three, to the right. Add another point. Six to the left. Add another point. Make this one normal. It should already be normal. Just do that just to make sure. Make the middle one 200 and make the far one 50. So it should look like this. Looks pretty clean. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to go near roughly. When, you get to, when I get my pickaxe out, it'll be different for every single clip, but this is what I do when I think it'd be alright to get my pickaxe out. So, roughly about there, I'd make this one normal velocity. So, uh, I'm gonna trim the clip. That was very clean. Alright, now you're gonna do is you wanna split the split the kill on the marker so you can add effects to this part without affecting this part so now what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in to where it's a shot as soon as you get your shotgun out this is how i do it anyway split the split this clip search up pinch punch add on reset to none now you're going to do is click animate Drag this point all the way to the end. Go, click on it. Five frames to the left, add another point. Ten frames to the left, add another point. So on the middle point, what you want to do is you want to make it like that. And on this kill, it's not on every kill, but on this one, go to about here. I'm going to move this. <laughs> And as you can see, it does an effect like that. So I'm going to move it to where it's near the middle. So something like that. Alright, that's how you do pinch punch. Alright, so the next step after you've done pinch punch is to add on effects onto the end of the kill. So I'm going to add on flicker, S flicker. Add the default one on. And just I'm then gonna uh, um, click on amplitude, drag it to the end, set another marker, make it zero, just like that. Right, the next part is go back onto here. I'm, not, I'm gonna make it a little bit more because you can't really see as much flicker, so keep. And I'm also going to add in some brightness and contrast. The FX one, not the BCC one. Just a Sapphire plugin. You add, I'm going to add in very bright. It's 
be fine. Go roughly halfway, add another point, make it zero. Just like that. So from the start, it looked like this. That's it for the pinch punch tutorial. If you do want anything else, leave it in the description so I can see and then make a video on it. Let's try it. 30 likes this video for another tutorial to come out.